I told him, I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna leave the house, like, at all, ever again. Good morning, everyone. Welcome. If you're new here, my name is Julia. I know I was a little MIA last week from YouTube. I'm sure a lot of you noticed. But, um... I just, I edited a video last week and I wasn't super proud of it so I decided not to upload it because time is precious and just not trying to waste anyone's time with like bad content so I decided not to post it. I might try and re-edit it and see if I like it a little better but who knows, I'm not too worried about it. But I did however for the first time in two years because I did take a two year social media break. And I made a new Instagram. I'm starting from scratch completely. So if you want to be friends, I'll put my Instagram down below. But today I'm actually kind of going to be changing the pace a little and not talking about health and fitness right now. Um, I'm actually going to be talking about something super important to me that's my entire life. And I know it's such a controversial topic, so I was a little hesitant about talking about it and posting it, but... Um, I'm actually going to be posting about the struggles of being a police wife because, you know, um, if you know me, uh, my husband is a police officer and if you also know me, you know that I 1000% support our first responders. I think what they do is amazing and I'm so grateful for everyone that is a first responder. And I wanted to post this video and talk about it because... I don't have, I have support in like every other aspect of my life except for this one. I don't have many friends um, that are police wives. Actually, I don't have any friends that are police wives. I'm not friends with any of his coworkers and I know I can't be the only one um, out there that isn't, like that is in the same boat as I am. So I'd love to like offer support for any of you that need it and just talk about it. If you want to be friends, definitely follow me on Instagram. But before I get any further, please like and subscribe down below. I try to post videos every Tuesday. It's just a little hard with the kids, as you can hear them in the background. I'm just going to finish my coffee, you know, put on my face, get a little ratty, and I will jump right in. Do you want to say hi, princess? Yeah? Can you say my hair's a little messy? Uh -huh. I have bad head. Hello. Bad head. Uh -huh. And my face is dirty from uh -huh. breakfast. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. I go. Okay. Sounds good. Did you want to say hi too, little man? Do you want to say hi too? Yeah? Say hi. Uh -huh. <laughs> Finally ready. This is our outfit for the day. I feel like I have the same outfit every single day. A kind of crop top, kind of sports bra, and some leggings. I mean, I'm not doing much aside from taking my kids to the park at 3 and some gardening. So I don't really have the need to get dressed up, but... Yeah. Okay, so I'll start with the number one. Um, and that is wondering if your husband will come home with that <coughs> That's not a huge struggle I go through, only because um, 
I just trust that he knows what he's doing. He, I just trust he, trust him. I trust the Lord. And in my gut feeling, I feel like he will come home every day. But I can definitely see why it's a struggle most beliefs wives go through. It's a scary thing. Like they know what they sign up for when they start the job. They they know they're taking that risk to protect their city. Okay, number two is the family and friends not supporting his career. Um, this is another reason why I deleted Facebook um, after after that time. That is very self-explanatory. Um, I just felt like everybody was hating on him because he chose to be a police officer and no one supported his career and those feelings still linger to this day. As much as I do love like the diversity and seeing different sides of things, seeing how other people view things and just seeing a different perspective. I really appreciate other people and other views. Um, it just sucks that his family and friends still can't support him to this day because of the career he chose. And that's all I'm going to say about this topic because it's very self-explanatory and I don't want to get too much into it. <sighs> okay, I put my little guy away. Sophia is watching Mickey Mouse. I totally realize I'm not going to get through this video with him on the ground with me. But I'll go on to number three, which is he's really underpaid, in my opinion. Um, I actually feel like a lot of first responders are underpaid, like not only police officers, but nurses, paramedics. They're all underpaid for what they do. Um, but I am so thankful that I'm able to be a stay-at-home mom with his one income. I just, I know what he goes through and it's not worth it. Like when I was on a ride along with him one time, he literally had to tell me um, on many occasions that I looked uncomfortable and to go sit back in the car because it, I was just scared. I was scared for him. I was scared for the situation and what they do is crazy. All right, number four is that he's gone weekends and holidays. Me personally, I don't mind it. I don't mind that he works weekends because that means he has weekdays off and I don't like crowds. So when we go out to like restaurants or when we go out and do something, obviously weekdays are gonna be less crowded than the weekend and I prefer it that way. Callie. <laughs> I swear, <laughs> no one wants me to get through this video. Um, and then holidays, I don't mind that he works. I might mind when like the kids are older and they want to, they want their dad to watch some open gifts on Christmas morning. But we honestly just celebrate a holiday that he has to work the day before, the day after. It just kind of works out for us, and I don't mind it. But I can definitely, definitely see why some police wives don't love that their husband has to work weekends. Number five is seeing him in pain and the constant back massages. He wears 30 pounds of gear every single day, the whole shift. And obviously that's gonna take a toll on anybody's body. Um, so I literally have to give him a back massage multiple times a week just to get him to feel better. I actually surprise scheduled a couple's massage for this Saturday, I'm super excited about. It is gonna be our first couple's massage. I know he's been like begging me to schedule him one. <laughs> Number six is the unexpected call-ins. <sighs> this caused a lot of fights and arguments in our marriage. <laughs> um, so he signed up for the dive team like a year ago or something like that. And what that means is when someone is drowning or there's a dead body in the water or they need to pull a gun out of the water, he gets called and has to dive in and get it. And that could literally happen any time of the day. And he made a commitment that if he is in range, he will stop what he's doing, do whatever, like whatever, and he will go do his task. And like literally on, during date nights, 
or even like while we're going somewhere like he'll get a call in and we'll have to stop what we're doing he'll have to turn around and go to work and obviously it made me upset i mean i'm sure it would make anybody upset when your whole day and your your plans are like kind of canceled but i appreciate his dedication to his job and i love his commitment i'm used to it now but it was definitely tough getting used to Number six and number ten are gonna, I'm just gonna combine the two just because they are very similar to each other. It's the trauma and the hard days along with the stories he tells me. Actually, for example, two days ago he told me a story about something that happened in the city we live in, since he works in the city we live in. And I literally like got traumatized for him for that situation and I kept bringing up like, oh my god, what if it was me? What if it was the kids? What if it was our family? Like, that literally could have happened to us. And I told him, I was like, I don't know how I'm going to leave the house, like, at all, ever again. And, like, yesterday I had to go grocery shopping. I was literally scared to leave the house. I did it. I accomplished it. But, like, I just, I don't know. I just give them so many props for seeing the things that they do and going through the things that they have to go through. And just like coming home, leaving everything at work, putting everything aside, and like putting on a happy face for their family. Like that takes some mental toughness. And like car rides, like car rides anywhere. Like. <laughs> car rides anywhere, like he'll just be dead silent for like a couple minutes. And I'll be like, what are you thinking about? And he'll just be like, oh, it's nothing. When I know it's something. And he'll end up admitting, like, oh, he was thinking about this thing that happened at work. I can tell he really has some trauma. He really, like, he really does. But he does such a good job putting out a brave face for our family and, like, putting everything aside and honestly pretending like nothing happened. And that takes some strength. <laughs> okay, so number eight is... He sees the worst in people and overthinks situations. For example, like when we're at a restaurant, he needs to sit in the seat where he can see the door. So like if someone comes in and they have bad intentions, he like can do something quick about it. He doesn't like having his back to the door if someone like comes up to him or I don't know. He he needs to see the door. It's crazy. It's probably one of the most annoying things because I used to have to always see the door like I just like to people watch I guess and I don't know I like seeing like the action in and out of the door and so there was a hard adjustment to just look at a wall <laughs> and like grocery shopping I swear he like kind of gets anxiety grocery shopping because he is like, what if this person has bad intentions? Look at this guy's waistband. What did you notice about that guy? And I'll be like, chill, like we're just, we're just grocery shopping. It's fine, it's not a big deal. So he's always on top of it. He's always on his A game. He's just like ready for anything to happen basically. He's honestly the only person I talk to every day. And so if something happens and like I text him about it, I don't get a reply for hours and hours and hours. And like being a stay at home mom, you do get that cabin fever and you want to talk to a person that isn't a child. So it's hard, it's a hard adjustment not being able to talk to him. Um, like most of the day. I know that was a tough video to watch with all my distractions. I promise, I promise not every video is going to be like this. Like I do record without my kids. I just needed to today and I know they're, they're a distraction. But hopefully you liked it. Hopefully you got something out of it. And I really hope I'm able to support another police wife that needs it. And hopefully this helps somebody out there if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video thank you bye